In this series on how I record, edit, and mix my personal audiobooks, and how you upload your audiobook to YouTube, like I did, in step number 9 out of 10, now upload that video that you made for your first audiobook audio track to your YouTube channel. Now, in the last video tutorial, step number 8, you created a playlist and a section inside your YouTube account so that you could assign your audiobook track uploads to for better organization on your YouTube channel. That's a good thing. Now, in step number nine, let's upload that video you just made for your first audiobook audio track to your YouTube account. So, log into your YouTube account, click on the Create button in the top right corner, click Upload Videos, then locate the video on your computer. And you know where it is, right? You're so organized in everything you do. I know you are. Find your book title. Find the video folder. Find the audiobook videos for YouTube folder. And find the first audio track you converted to a video. And of course, here it is. And we want to upload the MP4 video you created. The MP4. Not the WAV file or the PNG or the JPEG, we want to upload the MP4 video file. Now, double click on the MP4 video file and it will start uploading. Now, as your video uploads, YouTube is going to give you the chance to add some information about this video. Things like title, description, add a thumbnail, playlist, and you could do all this while the video uploads and oh wow, look how fast that small, about two minute video uploaded really fast. So you can still stay on the screen even though it's uploading, processing, converting to HD, you know, high definition, etc. Let's go over this line by line, field by field, and I'll cover a lot of information in this video. Title. Well, I'm going to go ahead and keep what I like and delete what I don't. Welcome and copyright notice and table of contents. Perfect. And I got 46 characters out of 100 characters available. I could add more. Hey, great. Uh, but, you know, description. Now, I'm going to give you the template that I use for my audiobooks. And it's something like this. And I'm going to make this available via a link to a Google Doc in the description box of this video. So you can actually go to it, read it, see it, highlight it, copy it, steal it, use it. I don't care. It's for you. So let's look at it. Audiobook description. Enter some text here. Audiobook track description. Maybe you've got something about the track that you want to describe, something specific. That's cool. Enter some text here. Audiobook playlist. You know, if people really want to know about the playlist, because maybe they stumbled onto the video only, and they want to know where the playlist is for this video, no problem. Listen to more of this audiobook here. Go get the link for that playlist and insert it right here. You know, and it's like youtube.com forward slash, you know, playlist link. Okay. Subscribe to my channel. Now, you can put a link that people can click on to subscribe to the channel. You know, to always get the latest videos from me and more, go ahead, click this link. Hey, let's connect. Connect with me through social media, my website. And here are the available options. And just look through these and take the ones that work and leave the ones that don't. It's okay. Interview me about this audiobook. Maybe you got a page about that. You want to promote your audiobook via interviews like I like to do. For business inquiries, you know, work with me. Would you like to talk to me? You know, you know, if quite a few thousand people listen to your audiobook and they really like it, they may want to talk to you. Well, guess what? Why don't you let them talk to you via Zoom for a hundred bucks an hour? You know, charge what you want. Mm, all right. Need my help? You know, consulting. You can support my work. Go to my PayPal account, Cash App, Venmo. I think you get the idea. Just go through this. Take what you like. Delete what doesn't apply to you, and that's it. And look, we were still under 5,000 characters. Awesome. Okay, thumbnail. Now, YouTube is going to go ahead and generate three options of your audiobook for this thumbnail just by reaching into the video and grabbing an image. And because this was a static image throughout the whole thing, you're going to see the same thing. But what I want to do is I want to go get the JPEG you know, the thumbnail that I created in my graphics design program because it's clear, it's clean, and here it is, JPEG. I don't want the original file that I built it in, which was Fireworks PNG. 
No, I'll take this smaller file, which is under two megabytes, and I'm gonna just double click it. And it'll upload, and there it is. It's beautiful and gorgeous. If I ever wanna change it, I can, or you can download it if you want, but I never do that. Playlist, mm, let's go. Audio, your audiobook title, okay? And this is the title your audiobook is, you know, your audiobook title. Uh, you can imagine if this was actually audio, motivate yourself to succeed, you know, for me. But for you, you know, whatever your title is good. And just hit done. And look at that. Mm. This is a beautiful site. Playlists. And we added this video, your first video upload for your audiobook, to an audiobook playlist. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. Audience. Is this video made for kids? You can decide, but I'll tell you what, I usually just click no, it's not for kids. Um, when you click it this way, I believe YouTube has a little more uh, freedom to go into your video and to research on it for advertisers, which is going to be good for you in the future. If it's made for children, they don't want too much involved. They just let the kids be with the kids and do their thing. So I do no, it's not for kids. Show more. Okay. Some of this stuff I just kind of skip over because it's kind of default, it's generic. No, my video contains paid promotions like a product placement, sponsorship, endorsement. No, I don't check that because you know this is my audiobook. I'm just talking about what I'm talking about. But the real thing is right here, tags. Tags are like keywords. So let's discuss this for a minute. Keywords. Tags can be useful if content in your video is commonly <laughs> misspelled. Otherwise, tags play a minimal role in helping viewers find your video. Again, think search engine optimization. So let's just go motivation, motivate, motivate yourself, self-motivation, motivate yourself to succeed. And I'm just doing some uh, generic keywords related to my audiobook so you get an idea. I'm going to put my name in there, Bart Smith. You know what I'm saying? Just be descriptive about what this track is about. I got 135 characters out of 500. For me right now, this particular intro, you know, copyright, welcome, table of contents. Actually, I could go ahead and go through those table of contents and I could actually put them in this window, like um, vision board, naysayers, obstacles. Finish line. You know, just I'm kind of being generic here. I think you get the idea. Okay, let's go south here. Uh, language and captions. Sometimes these can be sort of default. You know, we're talking uh, picking your language here. You know, maybe not applicable. Caption. This content has never been aired on TV. You know, a lot of these I just leave blank. I'm going to go down, keep going down, down, down. You know, what type is this? Is this a how to style comedy, education, entertainment? Go ahead and pick something like that. Comments and ratings. Allow all comments. Sure. Do I want to hold them potentially for inappropriate comments for review, you know, or hold all comments or disable comments, you know? Show how many viewers like this video. Maybe you don't want that, but maybe you do. Okay, great. Take a look at this. The video has been uploaded. We've got a video link. This is just the file name, even though we did take this part away. Okay. But we got a link here. And look at this down here. Checks complete. No issues found. And HD. Gotta love it. So let's go to next. Video elements. You can use cards and an end screen to show viewers related videos, websites, and calls to action, etc. Uh, learn more. Click here. Um, add an end screen. Add cards. I'm going to go ahead and just proceed to the next window. I'm just showing you all this kind of stuff because if you don't have any videos to actually add as an end screen, well, you can't really use this page. The most important page in this window here is the description, the title, the playlist, adding your thumbnail, the first page, you know, going back, you know, back one. But next, checks. No copyright issues found. Excellent. Check mark there. Next. And this is the last one right here, visibility. Save or publish? Well, let's make this public. 
okay? You can schedule it if you want, but we don't need to. And you can privatize it or unlist it, you know, anyone with the video link can watch this video. I just make them public. What I did was I recorded an entire book, okay? And let's say that book was 10 hours. I then went and generated all the audio track videos for the entire audiobook. I went and produced them all, one right after the other, after the other, after the other. Maybe I came out with 70 videos for that 10 hour audiobook. And then what I did was I uploaded them one right after the other. So I didn't schedule it, I didn't make it private until I had them all up. I just uploaded them and I made them public just as I uploaded them in real time. So this one right here is done. I'm going to go ahead and publish this. And when I do, I'm going to get this nice little pop-up page that says video published. Here's the name, welcome and copyright notice. You know, it took out that first little 00A, remember that? So here's the title, the date, but that's no big deal, three minutes. You can share this with others through WhatsApp, Facebook, Twitter, email, all these others here, and there's more. Wow, there's a lot. Mm. Video link. You might want to copy this video link and put it somewhere where you can access it. Okay, let's close this. And voila, what do we have here? We've got our first video that we uploaded that is our audiobook audio track. Check it out. Good stuff. Now, if you hover over this area here, let me just show you a few things. You could actually go and you can edit the details of this video by clicking on the pencil. You can check analytics for this video, statistics, by clicking on this icon. You can see what comments people have made if you click there. This actually just opens up a window to where the video will play right before your eyes. Hey, and welcome to the audio ver I mean your ears by Bart Smith. Read to you by the author himself. And you can see that the audio is playing. And if we scroll this all the way to the end, it is protected by copyright law. It'll fade out. A personal message from the author. And sure enough, there it did. Faded out. Let's go down here. Uh, here's the title, welcome and copyright notice and table of contents. Excellent. And because we're logged into our account, I could actually click this button and I could go back and edit the video if I got a problem or I made a mistake or, oh, I misspelled something, you know. Analytics, we could check that. Check this out. This is the description that I told you about that I put in this video that you can have access to. People are going to be able to see audiobook description, track description, audiobook playlist. Click on this link right here. Subscribe to my channel. Click that. Hey, let's connect. Find me over here. Interview me. I mean, I just love this description. It's very thoughtful. It's very thorough. And it's very, mm. but go ahead and take out what you don't want. If it's too much for you, it's all for you. And then lastly, these three dots, click on them. Check this out. This is a quick way to edit the title and the description, just in case you want a quick access to make a spelling error correction or delete something. Look at this. It's a pop-up window. You just edit as you like, you know, whatever you want. Make your corrections. Go through your entire description right here if you can see it. And this is just for like a quick fix. You know what I'm saying? And if you do make a change, save your changes. If not, you can cancel this. And if you really need to make changes, go ahead and click the Edit Details pencil. And this will actually take you to the, the real page. Here it is. Here's the title, the description. You know, here's the thumbnail. In case you made a mistake, you can upload a new one. You can change the playlist. You got all kinds of options. Now, when you hover over the three dots again, you get a shareable link. This is cool. Click this, and you just copied a link to the video. In case you want to send it to someone or post it on your website or post it on your social media accounts, you know, you can promote the video. You could download it, or hey, I think I made a mistake. I want to delete it forever. So you can delete this video if you want. Mm. And that's it. You just uploaded your first audiobook, audio track video to your YouTube account. All I can say is congratulations and job well done.
Now, let's continue to the last video tutorial in this series on uploading your audiobook tracks to YouTube, which is step number 10. Repeat these steps for the rest of your audiobook tracks you want to upload to your YouTube channel. Come on, I'll give you a really great overview of what that step's all about to inspire you to keep producing videos for your audiobook audio tracks whether you want to upload some or all of your audiobook to your YouTube channel just like I did. Come on, let's check it out.